hi, this is a video on the Taurus Bull and some interesting tidbits you might appreciate. Now, the god Baal, which is goes back to Babylon, Ba-a-Balon, is the age of the Taurus Bull. Now we had Moses, who when he came down from the mount, he was upset that the peoples were worshipping and going back to worshipping the golden calf. This golden calf is the bull of the Taurian age. Moses is the character, persona, figure who brings the people from the age of the bull of Taurus into the age of Aries because the procession of the equinoxes and that's the movement of the aeons, the ages. Hence, we're going from Pisces into Aquarius. Now, we have Moses bringing the people into the age of Aries, the ram. Hence, why Moses is often depicted in art with horns on his head. And why a Jewish festival feast day is proclaimed by blowing the ram's horn. Also, as to symbolize with the Aries Passover lamb being sacrificed. And this is a passing over not just of the year from Pisces into the ram, but the passing over of an ion, of an age, into what brought us into Aries, which is we had this god that was very warlike, going through and tearing apart places and lands to find a place for that tribe. Now, we have going back to the Taurian bull of Baal. We also get Bel. The name of the god was also, also referred to as Bel, which is referred to as Bel, Bella is where we get it, this beauty because Venus is the ruler of Taurus in Earth. Having to do, Venus has to do with beauty. And Earth the second house ruled by Taurus has to do with possessions, values, money. Hence, we have also besides Bell, we have the bull referred to, the Taurian energy referred to as Bill. We have our dollar bill. A bill is made from a tree from Earth, which is ruled by Taurus, Earth sign, and it's also green. Green is the color of Venus and the color of Taurus. So where I have our dollar bills being made from trees and being green. And uh, very much we have a bull market. A golden calf right there in front of the stock the New York Stock Exchange. We have some other great things going on in this realm. What else do we have? Baal is also associated with Moloch, which is like, you'll see like, either this, this big, Moloch would ask for your firstborn child to be sacrificed. And this has to do with Abraham and the sacrificing of the first child, which was asked for by a certain god at the time. The killing of the firstborn. That's a theme that we have through the Bible often. Oh my gosh, look at this tree of life. I can't if you can see this in front of me. Whoa. See the Star of David in there? Excuse my twitchy hand. So the tree of life. We had the tree of life synagogue shot up. Horrible. Uh, we're getting so divisive in this world. 
my hope is that if we learn like religion and these stories and we could see I hope we could see through like I think astrology does a, a good job of seeing through and connecting religions to see the similarities that were perhaps unnoticed before to see that we are one family but to appreciate our diversity not to try to bring everybody into one world government uh, lots of dark occult uh, cults like to uh, still sacrifice to Moloch the owl is a symbol of Moloch um, at Bohemian Grove they have a big statue of the owl where they do sacrifices to it uh, Drake symbol is the owl. The Illuminati love to use the owl. You can see the owl in, uh, in the symbology in Harry Potter even. Up to the messenger, the owl has to do with a messenger. And the owl is also really closely related to aliens. <laughs> look, look up, type in owls and aliens and that'll blow your mind a little bit. There's something there. Okay, so now... After the age of Aries, of the Ram, and we also have Ramadan, which is tied in with that. Now we have the age of Pisces, of the two fish. Jesus, that's the age that the Jesus brought in with the two fish and the loaf of bread at the supper. That has to do with the loaf of bread is Virgo. And then the opposite of Virgo, that pole is Virgo and um, and Pisces. Pisces, the two fish. Bethlehem literally means house of bread. And you see the Virgo has the chafe of wheat in her hand. So she's in charge of the harvest season. Boop, 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 boop. Now we have Christ... They asked, where should we go prepare this Passover meal? It's, he, they're talking about the passing over into the next age after Christ. And he says, go into the house, astrological house, of the water bearer. This is the age of Aquarius. Who's the water bearer? Aquarius. Symbolized by John the Baptist in uh, our script Christian tradition. Alright, that's enough for today.